we're missing that. Yes, yes. And we need it. We significantly need it. You know, when I go a lot of places, because I'm six foot four, a lot of people, you know, did you play basketball? You know, did you play football? What do you do for a living? I tell them, I'm a scientist. I'm a scientist. That's what I tell people. And you got just to see the look on a lot of these people's faces when you first tell them that. Mm -hmm. They're like, huh? A scientist? Like, they're completely shocked. So like, this black guy just told me he's a scientist. You know, you can see it in their face, in their eyes. There's only one black scientist. That's Neil deGrasse. <laughs> right, right. And so I love doing that because, you know, the, people will put you in a box. Um, and uh, you got, I, I, my thing is to show people like, no, we, there's so many other things we can be doing. Uh, and this is one of them. You know, when I first got into this whole field of, uh, for, you know, the knowledge business, if you want to call it that, I gone. I went out to go to these conferences, and a lot of the conferences, these conscious conferences, they didn't have any people of color. I was the only one. And how did I get in? I literally was contacting them every single year for three years until finally they said, "Okay, come on in. We'll give you a small room, and give you a, a room that doesn't charge any money, and see how you do." And when I did it, the room was not only sold out, standing room only. And I did a, um, uh, a, a great lecture, and I used that DVD and sent it to another conference and another conference. So all these conferences that had only white faces speaking on these topics that we speak on in, in science and metaphysics and, and, and manifestation and, and ancient civilizations, all of a sudden I began showing up at all these conferences as the only person of color. And initially, the thing, the programming code in the minds of our, our people is, you know, who'd you sell out? How'd you sell out to get in here? And how come you're the token black person? Instead of seeing me and going, this is great, man. Somebody to represent us and, you know, to put forth, show that we have knowledge too in these mm -hmm. areas. The initial response, it's changed over time, but the initial response was negative. So I watched it go from a very hard negative response initially to then them getting more comfortable seeing me consistently building and building and building. Now it's becoming accepted. So what that showed me was, the more you see this, the more we continue to see it, the more we accept it, the more we believe it's possible. In the beginning, they didn't even believe it was possible. No, but um, you, you, you see what you expect. Yeah. You know, you'll ne there's an old saying, you'll never see Paris unless you take it with you. Mm. You have to have an expectation of what you're going to see there, and then you fulfill that expectation, or yeah. it exceeds that expectation, or it doesn't live up to your expectation. Mm. But you have to have an idea of where you're going. So for young men and women, if I had known about black inventors, but the fact that I didn't know about these black inventors, mm -hmm. that's one of the things that dro drove me to like I'm going to put our, I'm going to make the biggest impact in this, the world of science yeah. that's ever been made. I made it. I said in my my mind when I was a kid watching the cosmos that I was going to discover that grand unified field equation. Wow. I was going to do that. Yeah. I was going to do that. And yeah. I spent every minute mm. working towards it. I'm still spending. And the only other thing I'm working towards now, because I'm great with that, I've mm. accomplished that. Yeah. I'm still trying to use my telekinesis. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling, I'm still trying every day. I spend I at least a couple minutes <laughs> trying to move something with my mind. That's good though. I, I'm trying to, That's good. I haven't succeeded succeeded yeah. yet in this this place but yeah. you know that's what i'm working on now yeah, yeah. i'm like god Next you've level. given me this knowledge yeah. you know now give me the ability to yeah. to, to to make magic as i as mm -hmm. i choose to yeah. you know yeah. i would love those little bitty things now mm -hmm. and no longer outside seeking yeah. what was out there it's mm -hmm. just you yeah. know, having moments like this of us being able to share and, yeah, yeah. you know, and grow. But like what we're doing with the museum now, like mm -hmm. James Howard, um, they've put together a Kickstarter to raise money, yeah. you know, so that we can set this museum in place. Yes. Um, I would love to leave that, yes. you know, for anyone out there that want to encourage young minds, you know, of any color. Mm -hmm. to go yeah. through there. Because I was inspired by Einstein and Niels Bohr, you know, and, and, um, and, and Feynman, I was inspired by all of these people sure. that were not of my color, yeah. you know, but how much more so right. when I see someone of my color, when I saw you out there for years mm -hmm. making that hard stand, you know, all I could do was just applaud.